recording on computer. Meet everybody. Highlight supervision. Recording in progress. Yeah, you need to unmute yourself, Prabhuji. That's it. Thank you. Very good. You're ready whenever you are. Oh, mm. welcome to the morning class on a Friday. Your class by Prabhu Shah from West London on a chilly morning. And I think it's snowing in Glasgow or it's already snowed in Glasgow. This is a yoga session suitable for all, but special attention will be paid to weight loss. I'll be doing it from the chair but you can do it on the chair or you can do it on the mat, wherever you can. I'll be showing you all the moves so you can do it because I'll be giving the instructions so you can follow what I do, wherever, whatever position you sit on a chair, on, a, on the floor or wherever you are. You could be in the office as well. You can do it from the office. Right. We're going to start by chanting Om. So we chant Om three times. Aum. check your weight you'll be able to check your weight again at the end of the session to feel the difference if your digital scales you feel the point difference you make to your weight just by doing yoga the first pranayam is called breathing technique it's called pastrika it's pastrika pranayam you breathe in through the nose and you breathe out through the nose keep the mouth closed so you inhale and exhale, long deep breaths. Keep the shoulders straight, keep the back straight, long deep breaths. They're sending extra oxygen into the lungs. From the lungs it goes into the heart, then into the blood. So extra oxygen going into the blood. Feel the chest expand, feel the lungs expand. We exercise the lungs. We do very shallow breathing when the body does it itself. So you do some voluntary breathing. To exercise the lungs, get extra oxygen into the body. Pastrika Pranayam. You do this every day, two to five minutes. Even if you can't sit up in bed, you can do it in bed. Long deep breaths. Help your body to get better. Whatever condition you have, this one everybody can do. Pastrika Pranayam. Pastrika, you can do several times during the day. It will help you concentrate.
Oh, next, we need to remove toxins from the lungs. So you're going to cough. You're going to breathe in and you're going to cough three, four times. You're going to breathe in and you're going to cough three, three, four times. So you breathe in and cough. <coughs> There, we take five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Then you breathe in and come. <coughs> and then five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And then we cup. <coughs> and then some long deep breath. Now we're going to expand the chest. We're going to breathe in and stretch your hands backwards. Take your head back. Expand the chest, expand the lungs. You breathe in and stretch your hands backwards. And breathe out and then go down. Head down, hands down. You squeeze the lungs. Then you breathe in and expand the lungs. Head stretched back. Breathe out and down. Breathe in and breathe out and and one more. Right. Next, some exercise. Stretch your legs. Walk legs apart. And take your head down to the opposite leg. Turn your head around. You're twisting your waistline. So you're twisting the organs. So you're squeezing the organs all the time. You're going to make the organs healthy if they all work together. Keep your body healthy and then help to control the weight. So turn your head around, take your hand down towards the toes of the opposite leg, whatever you can. Feel the energy. Very good. Feel the stretch. Little bit extra each time. Know your limits, only do what you can. Do not force yourself. Next, both legs together. You're gonna move your knees. Exercise for the knees. Move your knees up and down. Knees going up and down. Good exercise for the knees. And then both knees together, push them down. Next, we're going to do grinding. Chakyasana. So you can keep your hands straight. 
Take your both your hands together, take them towards the toes and bring them back. So go, go towards the toes and come back. Big circle. So you breathe in as you come back. Breathe out as you go forwards. Keep the head straight, elbows straight. No bending of elbows. You need to ease up so much energy. Generate so much heat in the body. Some people will start to sweat. Your heart rate will go up. Very good exercise for weight control. You can do 50 circles, five to 50 circles, depending on your requirements. At the end of the session, check your weight. This is very good for uterus and ovaries problems as well. Very good for prostate problems. Grinding, check acid. Feel the energy. No need to go to the gym, you can do all at home. There's one round, now we go in reverse. We go in reverse, feel the energy. Feel the heat in your body. You can feel the burning. Chakyasana. Grinding. Do it every day. extra millimeter of stre strength, stretching. Breathe in as you go back. Breathe out as you go forwards. Oh, very good. So you can do up to 50 circles. Feel your requirement. And next is Titli Asan, butterfly. People on the floor, you join your feet together and flap your knees up and down. Bring your feet as close to your body as possible. People on the chair, you move your knees in and out. Very good exercise for your hip joints. So many joints in the body. We're gonna exercise several joints. Each joint has got some weight. The space for toxins to accumulate in the joints to make the joints stiff. So this, everything contributes to the weight, toxins and fat. Next, both legs straight, 
I raise my legs up so you can see on the screen. Then you bend the toes, squeeze the toes, make a tight fist with the toes, squeeze tight and release, squeeze and release the toes. Just the toes fast, squeeze all the fingers of the feet, the toes, squeeze and release. Very good exercise for gout, arthritis, swollen feet, swollen ankles, squeeze and release. Do this every day, wherever you are. You do it while traveling. And then both feet forwards and backwards. Both feet forwards and backwards. Push out, pull in. You'll be exercising the whole leg. So you have to exercise the whole body. So weight is carried all over the body. So you have to reduce. Move the weight, dissolve the fat. Just accumulate more in some places, but it could be all over the body as well. And then you rotate both feet going round, both feet going round. Ease your muscles. Several joints, several muscles. Then we go in reverse. You don't move the whole body. And then both feet apart and vipers. Move your feet side to side. Feel the whole leg moving. Feel the whole leg moving. So many movements you can do. Everything helps. Right, back to your sitting position. Whatever is comfortable. Now you're gonna breathe out with each exercise, with each movement. You're gonna breathe out through the nose with a little force. Throw the air out from the nose and then throw your hands out in front. Throw your hands out in front and breathe out. Oh, next you're gonna join both hands together. Keep the first two finger out, bend the other fingers. And then you're gonna raise both hands above, above the head. You can raise both hands above the head. Then you're gonna breathe out. This will stretch your spinal cord like an elastic. Both hands up above the head and breathe out. One stroke per second. Very good for back problems. It stretches your spinal cord. Next, Udan Mudra, you join your thumb and three fingers. The little finger stays loose. Thumb and three fingers joined together. This is very good for the thyroid. Thyroid also, if you have thyroid problems, your weight will go up. Then both, all these fingers rest on the shoulders. The little finger is loose and breathe out. 
those who have more energy can turn sideways. Oh, so controlling the thyroid. So you to make each part of the body more efficient, helps to keep your weight under control. Then you throw both your hands out to the side. The hands go out straight, not go down, go only up to here, okay? So throw out and breathe out. Oh, you're already losing so much activity. A lot of activity, but you're exercising several parts of the body. Next, you're going to turn sideways. You turn your head sideways, turn your shoulder sideways. You're going to squeeze these muscles here. The muscle gets squeezed when you turn, and then when you breathe out, there's an extra squeeze. So we're going to squeeze the organs, keep the organs healthy. Make the organs healthy. It's good to turn to the side and breathe out. People on the floor, touch all your fingers on the floor. This will stimulate your sinus points as well. So turn to the side and breathe out. Oh, very good. Next, you're going to raise your hands up. Then you pull your hands down and breathe out. So pull you down with the force and breathe, breathe out. You feel the energy. So raise your hands and pull them down.
Oh, very good. Take some deep breaths. Oxygen, extra oxygen into the body. Long deep breaths. Feel the lungs absor absorbing it. The lungs are so happy, getting so much oxygen. Feel your organs, feel the lungs. The body does very little breathing for you. You do some extra breathing to get supply extra oxygen to the body. Feel the tingling in the whole body. Whole body is activated. Now we're going to do a very powerful pranayam, kapalbhati. Kapalbhati, pranayam, not to be done by pregnant women. A lot of this session is not suitable for pregnant women except for anulom vilom pranayam and butterfly. And some simple exercises, hand exercises, none of the active exercises. Now, in Kapalbhati Prime, you breathe out through the nose. You throw the air out from the nose with a little force, just like blowing your nose into a tissue. So you blow the nose, just breathe out one stroke per second. The stomach will move in automatically. As the body creates a vacuum, the stomach contracts in. So that's all you do. Your part is to breathe out one stroke per second. The body does the breathing in for you. So you just sit straight without moving your shoulders. Keep the shoulders steady. Only blow the nose. Breathe, breathe out through the nose, one stroke per second. We can do it in different mudras, different hand gestures to give some extra benefit. The first one is called Vayu Mudra. First finger bent and thumb on top. Vayu Mudra, first finger bent, thumb on top. Other three fingers straight. Vayu Mudra, good for joint problems. Several people have, will have joint problems. They don't have it now. The joint problems will come as you grow. And then, and gastric problems. So Vai Mudra and Kapalbhati. So breathe out, not to be done by pregnant women. People with heart problems or high blood pressure, do it at a slower speed. We are going at one stroke per second, 60 strokes a minute, for heart problems, go at a speed of 40 to 60 strokes a minute. Kapal Bhati Prime. Oh, next is Apal Mudra. Why Mudra? Then Apal Mudra, middle two fingers joined to the thumb. Middle two fingers joined to the thumb. Other two fingers straight. This is to remove toxins from the body and Kapal Bhat.
Om. <coughs> Next one is Surya Mudra. Ring finger band, thumb on top. Ring finger band, thumb on top. This helps to re reduce the weight, improves the body's metabolism. Other three fingers straight. Ring finger band, thumb on top. To reduce weight, Surya Mudra and Kapalbhat. Oh, Surya Mudra with Kapal Bhati. Next one is Varun Mudra. Little finger joined to the thumb. Little finger joined to the thumb. Other three fingers straight. Varun Mudra is good for skin problems, good for bladder problems, good for little children who wet the bed at night. So if you press this finger, little finger for them, it will help them as well. And Kapal Bhati, Varun Mudra with Kapal Bhati. Oh. Next one is Ling Mudra. Join all your, lock your fingers all together. Then join your palms together. Then keep the left thumb out. And we do Kapal Bhati. Ling Mudra, very good for people with low blood pressure. Helps if you have problems with low blood pressure. And helps to exercise the heart and lung muscles as well. Kapal Bhati Prayer. <coughs> one stroke per second, not to be done by pregnant women or if you had surgery in the last four to six months, people with heart problems do at a slower speed of 40 to 60 strokes a minute. One stroke per second, 60 strokes a minute, 300 strokes in five minutes. Very powerful program, Kapal Bhat. Keep Practice this regularly, find a slot, do it every day before lunch, before dinner, before breakfast, on an empty stomach. Do it on an empty stomach. Very powerful pranayam. As you breathe out, the, strong, the stomach contracts in and is exercising your organs. 
your body's soft fat, your liver, kidneys, pancreas, uterus, ovaries, prostate, spleen, gallbladder, and your master gland, thyroid gland. Air is passing next to the thyroid gland as well. You're stimulating several organs. You're making them healthy. If organs are healthy, your immune system becomes strong. So the aim is to build up your immune system. If your immune system is strong, you'll be able to fight off any invasions in the body. Yes, just like the country, you keep your immune system strong, like the country keeps its defenses strong from all angles. Pal Bhatri Pranay. You do it, you benefit. If you have problems, do Kapalbati twice a day. Start doing it twice a day straight away. Start with five minutes, then keep on increasing the time meaning, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, then one hour. You can do it in different slots of half hour or 15 minutes times four, 30 minutes, up to one hour, then twice a day, do it twice a day. And you feel the results much quicker. All types of problems. It helps to unblock the arteries, helps to improve the body's metabolism. So it helps to control the weight, helps to control the diabetes. We are squeezing the pancreas, it helps for the liver. We are squeezing the organs as well. Even we have joint problems. Yes making strong new generating new healthy cells to fix your body help with the healing of the body improving the body's metabolism you do it you feel the benefit Next, we're going to do Bahya Pranayam. In Bahya Pranayam, <coughs> you breathe in, then you breathe out completely, then you apply three locks. <coughs> Apply three locks to the body, mold ban, you pull your anus muscles up, udiyan ban, pull your stomach in, jalandar ban, you lock your chin down. So you apply three locks to the body <clears throat> and you hold five, six seconds. And then when you release each lock in reverse, so then uh, jalandar ban, udiyan ban, then mold ban, release the locks in reverse when you <clears throat> come out of the locks. So we, did, we do it two times by a pranayam. So you breathe in, breathe out completely. Mool ban, pull the anus muscles up. Udiyan ban, pull the stomach in. Chalanda ban, lock your chin down and hold. And then release the locks in reverse and take a breath. This is very good for organ prolapse. <clears throat> very good for organ prolapse. 
not to be done by pregnant women. So we did once more, you breathe in, breathe out, apply the three locks, bull burn, udian burn, jalandar burn, and you hold. And then release the locks in reverse, and take a breath. By a prayer, then it's Agni Sar Kriya. You need to pump the stomach. You need to move the stomach. Lot of exercising of your organs. You get a, Agni Sar is not a pranayam, it's a Kriya. Agni Sar Kriya. So as you breathe in, you breathe out completely. Then you pull your stomach in and release while holding the breath. You'll be able to do roughly 10 to 20 times while doing this. We'll do, we'll do it twice. As you breathe in, breathe out, pull your stomach in and release continuously. And one more, breathe in, breathe out, and pull in and release the stomach. Very good. <clears throat> Take some deep breaths. Now stretch your hands in front, some light exercises. Open and close your fist. Keep the head straight, elbow straight, feel the pain. Feel the pain along your shoulder joints. Very good for your neck problem, shoulder problem, your finger problem. If you work too much on the keyboard, you'll have finger and thumb problems. And then both palms up and down. If you work on the tail continuously, if you're doing repetitive job, do these exercises regularly, two, three, four times during the day as well. Take a break. Just for a few seconds. While you're thinking, you can do it. And then you make a face and rotate. And you go in reverse. <coughs> now you're going to do the Mandukasan. Mandukasan is good for diabetes, but it's also, but we are going to do it with Kapalabhati. So it's doing, the Mandukasan is good for all the problems, including diabetes type one and type two and stomach problems. So you can do it uh, in Vajrasan. People on the floor can do it in Vajrasan. People who the chair can do it just as I do it. In Mandukasan, you make a fist, thumb goes in, close the fist. Thumb goes in, close the fist. Both fists point towards each other. Rest them on the belly button. <coughs> so if you can't bend, you can just do it sitting, uh, sitting straight. If you can bend, bend as far as forward as you possible. So you breathe in, then breathe out. Then you do Kapal Bhati when, when you're in the down position and start Kapal Bhati.
Oh, it's currently up. So you can do this in Manduk Asan for 10 minutes. You can do it as, as, uh, as five minutes each time or two minutes each time, but do a total of 10 minutes in Manduk Asan. Then in Manduk Asan part two, left hand of the stomach, right hand on top. So you breathe in, breathe out, pull the stomach in, bend forwards and kapal bath. Oh, slowly up. Take some deep breaths. Feel the body tingling all over blood rushing to all parts of the body. <clears throat> Next is Sasakasan. Sasakasan is also good for the brain and good for diabetes as well, good for the brain. You're gonna make the blood rush to the brain. So you're gonna breathe in, raise your hands up and take them back. Then breathe out, you go down. Take your hands down, take your head down. Feel the blood rushing to the brain. People on the floor do it in Vajrasana. Then you're gonna breathe in and go up, take his up and back. Breathe out and down. One more. Now, shake your hands. And press your thumb, three fingers below the wrist, three fingers. Three fingers below the wrist. Press your thumb there and then open and close your fist. You stimulate your lymph, lymph glands, lymphatic system. Same with the other hand. This is your secondary excretory system, lymphatic system. That builds up and causes swellings all over the body, especially the legs. <clears throat> right, next, some exercises. Now, 
people on the floor can lie down on the back and then raise each leg up. Whole leg goes up, do whatever you can. Continuous activity. Shedding. Little by little, a gram at a time. One gram at a time. It all adds up. You see the results when you check your weight at the end. If you feel benefits, you make your comment. When you watch it on YouTube, you make a comment. If you feel the benefit, you have to make the whole world a healthier place. People should be able to have good health and know how to be healthy themselves without outside help. Do it yourself to stay healthy. And then both legs together, both legs together, up, hold a little and down. Feel the pressure on the stomach. And one more. Right. Next, we do exercise for the knees. You raise your right knee, lock your fingers under the knee, make your legs straight and bend. You have to make all parts of the body healthy and then reduce weight at the same time. Double benefit. Then you go in reverse. Then you rotate the foot. Then you go in reverse. And the other leg, both hands under the knee, make your leg straight and bend. Then go in reverse. Then you rotate the foot. And go in reverse. And relax, few deep breaths. Next, <clears throat> right leg goes up in there and you're gonna you know, make 20 circles, 20 circles. This is to help you reduce your weight from the thighs, hips, and buttocks. So take your leg up in the air and come down to the floor level. 20 circles. And then 20 in reverse. Twenty. That's one leg done. This is to reduce from weight from the thighs, hips, and buttock. Then the other leg, 
20 seconds, big circus. Go up in there, come down to the floor level. Twenty one where well, twenty in reverse. Very good. Feel the <coughs> body reacting, body losing the weight as we do it. Now we do seven circles, both, both legs together. Seven circles with both legs together. And then seven in reverse. And take some deep breaths, long deep breaths. Feel the lungs, lungs feeling happy with lots of oxygen going in. Feel the tingling in the whole body, head to toe. Blood is supplying oxygen and nutrients to the whole body, taking away the burnt fat, the excess weight you have lost, your burn is being taken away. Deep breaths. Now you're gonna lie down. You can still on the floor, you can stay on the floor. <coughs> you're gonna bend both knees, bend both your knees, bring your feet close to your buttocks, <coughs> and then stretch your hands to the sides, palms facing upward. We're gonna do market asan, very good exercise for the spinal cord, very good for the back. Arms stretch sideways, palms facing up. You turn your knees to the right, head goes to the left. The twisting action of the spinal cord. You pose, then slowly bring the both knees to the middle. Pose a little and go down the other side. Knees go one way, head goes opposite side. You pause. At home, you can pause even longer. You can pause up to 30 seconds, up to one minute. You feel the muscles continue to stretch. Come to the middle, pause a little, and then go down. So you, don't, you do not swing your knees from one side to the other. You pause when you come to the middle and take them down with your own muscle strength. Mark Katasan, part one, very good for your back. 
very good for sciatica, but you have to do it. Do it regularly if you have got it and to prevent it coming in the future. Prevention. Keep your immune system strong for prevention. Next, we do part two, both feet apart. Both feet apart. We do the same thing, knees go to the right, head goes to the left. I'm showing it on the chair, but you do it on the floor if you can. So your knee will fall on the ankle of the other leg. That's the correct distance. You adjust distance between the two feet. So the knee falls on the ankle of the other leg. You're stretching a different set of muscles. Everything you can do at home, learn a little at a time. And keep watching repeatedly to learn the whole process. If you follow this, you stay healthy, control your weight, and lead a happy life. Quality of life. Have a good quality of life. And then we do part three. Both legs straight. Right leg goes up 90 degrees, turn it to the left, head goes to the right. So you land your toe, if you're on the floor, land the toe, try and touch the floor with the toe. And then back up in there and slow it down, other leg goes up and turn. Let's mark it as parts one, two, and three. <laughs> Next one, you raise your right knee, lock your fingers around the knee, breathe in, breathe out, pull the knee up to the chest, you hold. Pavan Muktasan helps to release gas from the body and release. Then bring up the left knee, lock your fingers around the knee, breathe in, breathe out, pull it up to the chest, hold and release. And the right knee again, breathe in, breathe out, pull it up to the chest, hold and release. Left knee again, breathe in, breathe out, pull up. And release. The next one is both knees together. It's, you can't do it on the chair, I'm just showing it. Very difficult on the chair. You do it on the floor. Bring up both knees to Roll both knees up to the chest, and then you release and roll. Push your body like you do on a swing, big rolling action, big rolling action. Very good for the back. You give me massaging your back. You have to solve all the problems along the way to reduce your weight as well. But you have to fix the body of other problems as well at the same time. Good massage of the back. And then you roll side to side. Everything you can do yourself, rolling side to side. And relax. People on the floor, turn to the left side, stay there for five seconds. 
and then push your palm on the floor to lift your head and shoulders up. As that's how you get up. You turn to the side, push your palm down to lift your body up. That's where you stay with your back. Slowly come up. Now we do, do some light exercise. Rest your hands on your shoulders, bring your elbows together, make a big circle. Take your elbows up, backwards down. Breathe in as the elbows come up, breathe out as the elbows go down, big circle. Very relaxing, brings down a lot of tension. So breathe in as the elbows go up. Then you go in reverse. Right, next, you massage the knees and rotate the shoulders. Take the shoulders up, back down, forward. Very relaxing. Then you go in reverse. Next, we do exercise for your thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is here in the throat. So you're going to rotate your head. Take your head down and swing sideways, back, sideways and down. Make two rounds. Good for the neck, good for the thyroid. If you have thyroid problems, your weight can increase. The two rounds in reverse. Next, an exercise for the eyes. There are several different exercises. So we do one where we rotate the eyes. So you rotate the eyes without moving the head. You just turn the eyes. So you take them up, sideways, down, sideways, up. So big circle, make two circles, stretching in all directions. And two circles in reverse. Next, lock your, both your hands, lock your fingers behind your head. Lock your fingers behind your head. So you're gonna breathe in. Hold your breath and press the hands against the head, head against the head. Very relaxing. And release. Again, breathe in, hold your breath and press. Very good, all types of head problems, mental problems. And then you do it from your right hand. Right hand goes up onto the side of the head, on the right side of the head. You breathe in, you hold and press. Press into the head and release. And again, breathe in, hold and press. And the left hand, Breathe in, hold, press. Again, breathe in, hold, press. 
Then your forehead, lock your hands against the forehead, breathe in, hold, press. Again, breathe in, hold, press. Right. Now we do Anulom Milom Pranam, very relaxing Pranam. Everybody can do it, including pregnant women. Very safe Pranam, you can do it. Sitting down, you can do it lying down in bed. You can do it standing up, wherever you are in the world. You can do it, Anulom Milom Pranam. Use your thumb and one or two fingers to open and close each nostril. It's called alternate nostril breathing, Anulom Milom Pranam. So you close the right nostril, breathe in from the left nostril, and close the left nostril, breathe out from the right nostril. Then you breathe back in from the right nostril and out from the left nostril. That is one round of Anulom Bilom. So in, out, in, out. So, so breathe in, continue, Anulom Bilom. So in from one nostril, out from the other nostril, after you breathe out, you breathe back in from the same nostril. Very simple, once you break it down. Two and a half to three seconds to breathe in, two and a half to three seconds to breathe out. Just use the nose to breathe in. Keep your eyes closed, concentrate on the third eye in between the two eyebrows. Very relaxed. Concentrate on the breathing. Let the mind wander. Slowly the mind will slow down. Experience each breath. Very good distraction for the mind. If you are very stressed out, it brings down, relaxes the mind, relaxes the brain, so it brings down your stress, tension, anxiety, depression. You do it, you feel the benefit. Anulom below. Oxygen is going to the left brain and right brain, relaxing each brain. Both your channels are different. Surya Nari, Chandra Nari, Chandra Nari, Surya Nari. The one is cold channel, one is hot channel, sun channel, and moon channel. This is to balance your body temperature, balance your systems. You need to breathe through both nostrils. At any one time, your body is only using one nostril and then it switches. Very relaxing. If you are angry, do this pranayam, anulom below. Your anger will come down. If you're going to make a hasty decision, do some anulom below. Then you think of the decision you're making. If you have some problems, you, you get extra solutions when you think your problems through, then you do anulom below. Very good for to control your blood pressure. You have to do it twice a day. Twice a day for controlling the blood pressure. You start with five minutes and then increase the timing, go up to 30 minutes. And you have up to one hour. You can do it two, three times, four times, as much as you can. No limit. The more you do, the sooner you feel the pain. And the long below.
very good for the memory. Helps to improve the memory. If you started to get the memory problems, you start doing a rule of belong twice a day. Typical with stroke. If you had a stroke, start doing alulom vilom straight away. It restore the brain, the brain memory, and that affects the memory because the brain is not sending the signal to the limbs to move. So improve your brain. help the stroke patient very much and all other types of problems, heart problems, lung problems, asthma, and problems of the eyes, ears, very good for the eyes, ears, nose, throat, and brain. Children need to do anulom vilom for five minutes, it will help them very much. Anytime the mind is in problem, start doing anulom below. Minimum five minutes, then increase your time into 20 minutes. Keep it 20 minutes for the rest of your life. And then and your problems, increasing it to twice a day, three times a day. And then back to normal once a day when you're back to normal. We can continue twice a day if you like, or if you need more energy, more thinking power. Om, raise both hands up, rub them hard, generate some heat in the palms of the hands. Keep your eyes closed, both hands covering the eyes. Slowly open the eyes, bring your hands down slowly. 